guys, it's Gil here from Machinars and in this video I want to share with you a cool way to make a camera shake. So I will start by adding my background texture. I'm gonna take an image and I download this one from Polyheaven. Let's bring to the timeline. Add the transform effect and change the size to 200. Double of the screen. I will add the vignette effect just to have more depth. And then I will create the title. So let's make shake. And I will add some shadow. remove a bit of this opacity it's too transparent okay this is nice and let's bring the titles to the timeline okay now we have our text and our background now we need to add some movement for this title clip So I will bring the transform effect for this one and let's make some movement. In the first frame I'll bring the size to something really big and I will jump only one frame and add a new keyframe. The first one the opacity is zero. It gives that feeling from the title coming outside of the screen. It happens when you use a 3D camera, but we don't have a 3D camera here in Cadden Live, so we try to simulate it. Then the text appears, and more or less in the frame 1, we give a new keyframe and bring the size 100. Then we have this movement. Now we need to add our shake movement. For this, I will add a new transform and I want this shake to start after the clip stops the movement. It's more or less like here, we use this other transformer to guide us. So I will add a new keyframe here and this keyframe is just to, it's just to set the start of the shake movement. So we jump two keyframes, add a new keyframe and then we jump more two keyframes and add a new one and make some movement and jump only more one, add a new keyframe and make another movement and we are gonna do like this, we jump one and then check two so we jump one Add a keyframe, move, jump more one, add a keyframe, move, and jump two, add a new one, and just make like this. You can use the keyboard arrow, it's very easy to manage. And you do something really random. You don't need to make the entire clip because it's just a shake, right? This shake effect needs to be before the movement, otherwise this transform here will cut the text right here. So we just jump up and okay. We need to add this same shake movement for the background because we want everything shaking. Because it's the camera shake, so the entire scene needs to shake, not only the title. For this we can just copy the keyframes and paste in another transform for the texture or we can just copy the shake, paste on the texture and just remove the second one because we just need the shake and also needs to be before this first one, I mean needs to be in the top, now everything is shaking. 
really slow because my machine is very old like me okay now if you are going to do only one title you can do this transfer you can put this transform effect right here in the master so it will be applied to all these tracks but if you want to do more than one title you need to duplicate this background because each title needs to have a random shake movement so this background needs to shake differently to each clip I'm planning to make more tutorials but it takes time and I'm trying to manage my work, my job with this channel and sometimes I don't have time enough to edit the videos. It's very easy to make the tutorial but it's very hard to edit the videos in, a, in an easy way for you to watch. So if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like, share and subscribe and also hit the bell so you don't miss the notification of the new videos. And I see you in the next video.